Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer product review for the product, the Valhalla Screen by Dogmite Games. They're, they have tons of products on the site, and of course the game Labyrinthos, our previous review from Dogmite Games, and they just sent me this free of charge, so just to let you know, uh, a Valhalla screen for the Dungeons and & Dragons and any other role-playing game that you might need when playing as a DM or a Dungeon Master. In this video we're going to talk about what the Basically, the screen comes with uh, the components and the quality, and we'll go ahead and get into a review of sorts as well. And then I'll have a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick up your Valhalla screen if you would like. The Dogmite Games website also includes dice towers, a customized screens, dice, the Valhalla screens, and like I said before, they also made a game called Labyrinthos, a game that we extremely do enjoy in this, uh, this house here. And in fact, I even believe Max wouldn't have purchased a copy of it. So basically, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the back of this screen, how it works and what it comes with, and then I'll talk about what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So here is the back of the screen. Now when I first got the product in, it's gonna, it came in three different portions and then every single one of these metallic or metal pieces and the see-through plexiglass pieces came separately and you basically will put this thing together and it takes about five minutes to put together and it doesn't have a lot of examples as to what everything is or does, but I imagine if you were to go on the site and look to see what you'd like to pick up, each of these can be sold as uh, extras or separate or maybe even included, but they tell you what they do and I'll explain and what they do now just in case they don't. First of all, three wooden pieces that are etched and carved, customized as well if you would like. And then of course, it's going to come with these magnetic strips here. These strips are magnetic and there are magnets inside the wood allowing you to detach these and reattach them. So as you can see, everything here is magnetic and I can just go ahead and click it back together and there you go. Uh, you also are going to have these guys up here. These are see-through little pieces of plexiglass, which you'll actually be taking off basically a paper wrap and they are going to be initiative markers for turns. Let's say Bob and Jim and Tom were playing the game, Sarah and Susan and Sally. Well, basically this would say this player is going first, this player is next, so on and so forth. You can write portraits. You can also write on these guys and they have you can have dry erase and wouldn't be an issue as well and you can kind of move these after this player takes a turn this guy can move down to the back and now it's this player next and it can just keep going like so and you can kind of move the initiative markers based on the player's turns you can also use them as enemies as well another thing with this is a dice tower yes it comes with a dice tower that you can utilize you'll stick a die here and basically you'll roll it and it'll fall down and uh, it will give you a number. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got like kind of like a soft, uh, squishy kind of type of feel here. And then on the other side is just wood. And you kind of clamp these guys together and you can place them anywhere you'd like on the screen. It's fully customizable. And then it just fits right in like that. And as you can see, it's magnetic. This over here, this is another plexiglass screen. What's really cool about this is A, you could, if you would like to, write on this and use it as kind of a dry erase board for notes. Uh, you can also place things like maps underneath it and write on top of the maps or a letter or maybe a puzzle that you would want the players to solve. Anything you would like to place underneath this and then of course place this onto the board here. And it kind of lets you uh, utilize uh, paper without actually having to write on the paper, which is very nice. It's gonna come with a lot of these metallic little balls here. This will allow you to stick pieces of paper on them I think I have one of these guys here. It's probably a bit big, but you can stick that like that and it'll kind of stick on there with these magnetic uh, balls. Obviously you probably wouldn't use an envelope, but you could use any types of pieces of paper or cards, et cetera, et cetera. And you can place them under the balls here, which gives you a ton of variety and versatility when utilizing them. And then of course I have another screen over here as well. And basically that's what you're going to be getting in the game. The full wood uh, uh, customizable pieces here. You have a, an etched area which covers the top, uh, to the top, the entire top of these piece, these sides here that allow you kind of move these markers around. I'm sure they have other customizable, customizable items as well. Um, and then of course the dice tower, the screens, and the marbles. And it's just got a lot going for it. So what do I think about the Valhalla screen by Dogmite Games? Well, the screens are excellent quality. These things are 
beautiful looking and when placed together, they form an image. The image that I have is that of a dragon, but there are a ton of other options that you can choose when picking your screens and all of them work just as well. It's really based on the personality of the DM. Uh, the die tray is really nice as well. The fact that it comes in two parts is really easy to assemble and of course take apart and place on your screen or simply set aside and utilize it where you would like is very nice. But it does only fit a certain number of dice at a time and typically you're only going to be utilizing a d20 for the most part. So this is going to work perfectly for your needs as the dungeon master uh, and it is beautiful, exquisite quality, really, really, really nice. I am in love with the die tower for this. I, I love the fact that it kind of attaches to the board, it can be detached. Uh, everything about this die tower is excellent. A friend of mine who is a DM utilized these balls like crazy, being able to place cards and notes and pads and all that kind of stuff with these things to kind of use as memory markers, uh, provided an easier experience when playing the Dungeons and Dragons campaign that we play. And overall, I'm extremely satisfied with them, mainly because he was extremely satisfied with them. They're a lot of fun because you kind of can customize them where you want on the board. And there's a ton of different places on the board that you can utilize the board of the back of the Valhalla screen, that is. But overall, excellent. They're just basically metallic balls. You exactly will get what you, th what you think they are. They're a little like ball bearings, basically. The plexiglass screen and the markers for initiative are excellent as well. This was a really innovative idea. I love the idea of placing paper underneath it and then basically being able to draw over or on top of it, uh, basically creating a map of sorts. That's typically what we use for is when the players would move to a certain area then you would move down those characters along the map. So you kind of have an idea of where they've been and where they were going, where they are, uh, with a simple dry erase board, allowing you to kind of move the map underneath it as well. So we would pull the map as they play, the players move from place to place, and of course have marked locations on the map. Uh, and of course with two of these things, it allows you to kind of have a lot more area as far as where players are going to be and where they're going. Uh, these things here, utilizing them not only for the bad guys and also for the players, but as reminder markers and other little doohickeys that you can kind of think of or create on the go as you're playing with the DM is excellent. A high quality and the fact that these are color, of course magnetic is excellent overall though I am extremely thrilled with the plexiglass aspects and options and of course the fact that you can move them around the board anywhere you'd like. Uh, one thing I will say about this guy here is when placing them on the screen of course you got to make sure that they fit in nice and tight. Uh, be careful of how you place them because they can fall and of course, if you put them uh, too far to one side, it's possible that they can move as well. I usually prefer to play with them on each of the sides here as opposed to the tops area over here just because of the way it is made. Now, of course, each screen is different, so I'm not going to ding it on any marks there, but just be aware that they do kind of can, can move around, but most parts of them are pretty sturdy and they'll stay in where you need them to stay in. And one of my final main comments of this thing is, yes, it is portable. Yes, it is customizable. However, you need to be aware that when picking this thing up, you should probably disassemble it to some extent first before moving it. Many, many a times, I constantly do this even though I know I shouldn't do this, I will pick this thing up and it will fall apart if you're not careful. The magnetics, magnets are strong magnetics. The magnets are strong, but they're not extremely strong to the point where I wouldn't have to worry about moving this thing and things not falling uh, to, uh, apart, especially if you have like a campaign saved in some way on the board and the back here and on the top here, pieces can fall off. I've had on the occasion where I pick it up and then it kind of just crumbles on me as I go to place it down. And that's kind of more so my fault, but I just want to let you guys know that you should be careful when moving this thing around and it's probably best if you simply take it apart, make sure that everything's saved in a way, and then move it from one location to another. And when putting it away, it's best to just take this whole thing and set them just like this and to place them down in a protective way. Maybe even put some pieces of paper underneath them so that you don't damage this because of how high the quality is for this device here. But overall, an excellent DM screen. So should you pick up the Valhalla screen by Dogmite? Well, the first thing you need to know is it's rather expensive. This is about a hundred or so dollars, about $125 I believe for this screen specifically. And that is a rather expensive purchase, but this is high quality, high customization, 
and a lot of options. If you are a player who plays D&D and you're a DM and you play even once a week, this thing is worth it. It is excellent. I'm a big fan of props for my D&D experiences. I want to see music or hear music. I want to see fog. I want to smell smells utilizing the little scent, uh, little scent things I have. And then this DM screen kind of just pushes everything to an, uh, up a notch. It makes things feel more realistic and it gives the players a sense of awe and wonder. And of course, the utility of it as well is very nice for the DM. They feel like they're a master of their own area. And I dig that and used to be where we just play with folders and this thing here it just it's just so much better I can't even begin to state how much more I enjoy this over anything else I've played with in the past and the fact that I can kind of manipulate it to how I want is great as well the quality is top-notch I'm a huge fan of the screen I think if you have the money and you don't mind the expense because it is rather costly then you're going to dig these screens here for me it's a simple yes purchase if you play enough but if you're a player or somebody who maybe doesn't really care enough about the screens because it's, it is in one way mainly, uh, not mainly cosmetic, it, it's, it's partly cosmetic. But if you like all the additional little features and you want something high quality and you play enough of whatever campaign you're utilizing this with, then this thing here, I strongly urge you to take a look at. There's a lot of other screens out there, but this one here, as far as I have seen, has the most customization and it's just gorgeous. They do an excellent job making products here and I am I'm going to definitely be taking a look at some of their other stuff after this because I am thrilled with this product. This is going to get a solid 9 out of 10. The only reason it nicks a point is because it falls apart, but really it's partly my fault anyway for picking it up the way I do. I just wish it would let me pick it up and move it in some other way, but I'm too afraid to now, and so I have to take it apart and put it back together whenever I move it from location to location. Like I said, if you're interested in picking up this or just even seeing the products they have, because they have a ton of other products on the site, there's a link down below in the description. I don't get paid for you guys purchasing any of the products, um, so you feel free to, to take my advice with whatever you would like, grain of salt, but for me personally, it's an excellent screen. Screen. I'm extremely happy with this and I'm going to be utilizing it for a long time to come. And of course, I think you should definitely take a look at some of the other interesting um uh, unique D&D or uh, role-playing game products that I'll put a link down below as well for the smells that you can use for like a dungeon cave and whatnot. I've, I've had a lot of products come in and uh, they've all been really cool and I think they all work really well in tandem with each other. Thank you guys for watching. Patreons, I appreciate you guys. A dollar a month has helped go a long way. I look forward to showing you guys our next review video coming out tomorrow for another game and we're going to have a live stream, uh, another a live stream with a publisher coming up next month as well but we will see you every Sunday at 6 30 p.m. PST for more live streams and of course I'll upload them onto YouTube the day after with a little bit of editing to make it a little easier to watch quicker with a lot less commentary and more gameplay thank you guys as always and I look forward to defeating you in Dungeons and Dragons what I don't, how do you even defeat I guess DMs aren't really supposed to defeat people. I mean, they can, but you're, it's, it's more about the adventure, right?